A life sentence is a severe form of punishment that, regardless of a person's gender, is likely to have a significant effect on their life. Yet, the experiences of female convicts might be very different from those of their male counterparts due to a wide number of issues, such as the expectations of society, the obligations of the family, and the accessibility of resources. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at top female convict freakouts after being given a life sentence. Yeah, you heard it right. The case of Eileen Warnos is one of the most well-known examples of a female criminal who responded passionately to the possibility of receiving a life sentence. Warnos was a prostitute who was found guilty of murdering seven men in Florida between the years 1989 and 1990. She was sentenced to life in prison. Her case was covered extensively in the media and the proceedings of her trial were widely reported on. In 1992, when Wernos was informed that she would be executed, she screamed in response, I have nothing to hide, it happened to me. I really hope that someone rapes you, America, home of scumbags. Her outburst was caught on camera and later shown on the national news, solidifying her status as a criminal who is prone to outbursts of irrational behavior. While Wernos's case is perhaps the one that received the most attention, a large number of other female inmates who have been given life sentences have also gone through a range of intense emotions and responses. Others have maintained their composure or have just accepted their lot in life, while others have shown astonishment and bewilderment at the news. The relationship that a female offender has with her children is one element that can play a role in how she responds to being sentenced to life in prison. Many women in prison have children who are still relying on them, which is not surprising given that women are more likely than males to serve as the primary carers for their own offspring. These women face the possibility that receiving a life sentence will not only deprive them of their freedom, but also force them to spend the rest of their lives apart from their children. This can be an overwhelming and frightening experience that can bring up a wide range of feelings and reactions in a person. Female inmates who are given life sentences have in some instances reacted to the news by making an attempt on their own lives. This was the situation for Susan Smith, a mother from South Carolina who was found guilty of murdering her two young sons and sentenced to life in jail without the chance of parole for the crime they committed in 1994. In the years that followed her conviction, Smith made multiple attempts to take her own life. These attempts included cutting her wrist and attempting to hang herself in a jail cell, among other methods. The state of female convict's mental health is another component that can play a role in how she responds to being sentenced to life in prison. Many women who work in the criminal justice system have been victims of abuse, traumatic events, or other forms of violence, which can lead to mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD. For these women, receiving a life sentence might make their already existing mental health problems even worse and bring on extreme emotional responses. In some cases, female convicts have reacted to life sentences by becoming angry and combative. This was the case for Brenda Ann Spencer, who was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for shooting and killing two people and injuring nine others in a school shooting in California in 1979. When she was sentenced, Spencer shouted obscenities and threatened the judge saying, I don't want to hear your laws, your justice, your mercy, they're a bunch of crap. While it is understandable that receiving a life sentence can trigger intense emotions and reactions, it is important to remember that these women are still human beings who deserve empathy and respect. The criminal justice system can be a traumatic and dehumanizing experience, and it is important to consider the ways in which gender, race, and other factors can impact a person's experience. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.